Hey friends, Acquisitive Margo here, and we are back with Chapter 8 of Rising Angels Reborn. So, important stuff that happened. Alphonse is gay, so we are not going to get our Dr. Pervert versus handsome, sweet, innocent guy that we're going to defile fighting. Like, that's, that's not gonna happen. I'm really sad. Uh... Not Ziru, but Zuri is a lesbian. Pretty cool. Uh, someone's parents died. Kika, depressed one over there. With Teto hair. And, uh... Yeah, and then someone broke into our lab, and pretty sure it's either gonna be Kylie or Dr. Rasuna. Dr. Rasuna? Commander Rasuna. Don't trust her. Not for a goddamn second. And I- and if it is Dr. Stan because he is like the fucking devil, <laughs> looks like the devil, I don't even care. We're still gonna boink him. Getting into the chapter. The heat. Even though I knew this place was going to be warm, this is almost unbearable. I hope there is some sort of ancient power that we are disturbing. I couldn't use a nice thunderstorm overhead right now. Like an unmerciful god, the sun beats down on my latest disaster. The site is absolutely trash. Did the researchers go mad from sunstroke? Bridge, this is a ground team. Already on it. You are alone, Major. Very nice, thank you. Suck up. I don't know, Sol. He already gave you my first clue. What do you have to counter? Bah! Give me five minutes! Captain Moonfollow, I want you to go look for signs of disturbed soil. Faye? Where'd you go? To study a cactus or something. Uh, look into your piles of disturbed sand. <laughs> We're alone with Zuri! She's also gone before I give my chance to fully explain what I want done. I bite my lip, trying to not let my annoyance get the better of me. Zuri, you have the most important assignment of all. Do you feel anything? Mm, this is gonna sound silly, but... How many times do I have to say my security officer's perspective is the most important when it comes to safety? I don't know, ask Sol. He keeps track of things like that. Maybe I will! Well, I can't feel anything on the wind, but my gut is screaming warnings at, warnings at me. Something feels off. Think it is the heat? Perhaps the tattered campsite is disturbing you? I like the heat. It makes me feel happy and at ease. It's almost like being back home again. You're a strange person, Zuri. The heat is killing me. I'm starting to think their research is melted. But the claw marks... It's a joke. <laughs> okay, that made me laugh. That made me happy. I need down next to the tattered remains of a makeshift tent. Their better sup their better supplies must Oh, okay, okay. But their better supplies must have been <laughs> What's wrong with me? Why do I see that word as butter? Must have been left to the original site. This isn't much more than a canvas and poles. Still, the canvas is thick and durable. I try to tear it with my bare hands, but I can't even manage to rip a single shred or a single thread. Something strong or large destroyed this campsite. The cuts aren't clean. They aren't the precise measure I would expect from someone using a knife or machete. These scars are wild. Are you sure you don't feel something on the wind? Large felines, perhaps. Nothing. It's calm. Peaceful. It's just like how the monks told me the inner peace felt. Hey, don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen to you as long as I'm around. I'm your protector. I'm not concerned, Zuri. You're here. You don't need to worry about me. But I like to worry about you. 
you know what, as much as I want to boink the doctor, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna boink you at the end of this. Just because you're so goddamn cute. <laughs> Natalie! Natalie! What is it? It's an audio log. You need to hear this. Audio logs for the fucking win! Let's do this! You should have waited to play it until I was there. Damn your pride! Listen! If he's getting rough even with me, there must be something utterly important and damning on this thing. Or he's just fucking tired of the heat. My heart flutters a bit as I consider what sort of intrigue awaits me. We have it. We have it. Though our blood may soak these dunes, by God we have it. Oh, should I sound more like out of breath? I can hear howls in the background, not feline, but guttural? They're hard to hear over the sound of shifting sands. <sighs> Though we may pay the ultimate price, we have it. We have the key to the entire universe. <sighs> Though my team has given their lives in pursuit of this, I am now the caretaker of the universe. The blood, it draws in the air. I do not have much time left in this world, blah, 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 blah. but I, I will do what must be done. I will be the patron saint that they damned I become. Nobody will be able to stop what I am about to do. I have taken the steps to the heavens with no challenge from the masses. I do this for everyone. I do this for everyone. I do this for everyone. The universe is in my hand. The garbled, pain tone bathes the static. The universe is in his hands? Did the researchers truly find a weapon of mass destruction? I can only presume so. What are we going to do? What can we do? We need to finish up our investigation for any additional clues. Every second we sit here twiddling our thumbs, that mad scientist is running rampant with a device we know nothing about. No key the universe should be out there and not accounted for. First I'm hasty, now I'm slow. There are times and places for both. This is not the time to be slow or hesitant. So, what if we aren't understanding this? What if there is something bigger than- What is bigger than this? I don't know, but one data pad doesn't give us a guarantee path to our objective. This little recording is nothing more than speculation. We can afford five minutes to ensure we do this right. I'm not gonna win this, am I? Alright, I wanted to confirm that- I wanted to confirm that there were no other computers in this camp anyway. We should find some here. I doubt it. That message confirmed my suspicions that whoever we are chasing doesn't want anyone to know what, th that, uh, what they are pursuing. Then why would they leave this message? Why do criminals leave any sort of message to taunt their pursuers? That message doesn't give us any more knowledge than that the person is dangerous. I'm not going to full- Uh... I'm going to do a full and detailed investigation of the campsite, with your permission or not. I am not going to be hasty. So Lieutenant Starr's dead parents are worth being received, but my trying to prevent mine from dying isn't worth the same value? A mutt is worth more than me? Get back to the shuttle. The heat is screwing with your mind. Whatever. Dude, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Like, not boink him, but like, fuck him, you know? Fuck this guy. Maybe it is messing with mine as well. I can barely keep the sweat out of my eyes. My water intake is, isn't keeping up. Major Bumford would be screaming at me right now. Speaking of water intake. Yes. 
I'll be quick. Yeah, that will fix everything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just like before. I pull myself into the limited shade of a ravaged tent. Who cares about the stupid radio? I should have brought another liter or two of water. The racist grump is still sitting in his nice, climate-controlled settle. Shuttle. How's he chirk? This would go so much faster if you would just apologize to me and help out. You don't look so good. Your face is all red. Just a bit of a headache. That's no good. Here. Zuri tosses me a worn leather boda. I run my fingers over the fraying stitches and scuffed brown leather. This canteen has been through a few beatings. I made it when I was still a hatchling. An eld uh, wandering elder showed me how to make it really strong and tough, just like me. Crafting. Odd hobby for a warrior. You have to learn how to make do when you're a warrior. You don't always have what you need in the heat of battle. So non-combat related skills have their place when you are a warrior. You're not going to give up on trying to claim you are a warrior, are you? Not until you realize the truth. And I won't stop until you see the truth. I take a few swigs of cool, refreshing water. Even little boons like this are enough to keep me going. Find anything? Only this. I toss Soul's discovery to her. While she plays it, I distract myself by watching the shifting sounds. I don't need to hear that dire warning again right now. That's life, I suppose. Just like these shifting sands, everything seems to be in a constant movement. I'm having a hard time keeping up. The winds of fate seem to be glo blowing everything around on me, never leaving the truth uncovered for long. But there is no wind here, now that I think about it. What could be shifting? Zuri, you said you didn't feel anything in the air, right? Nope. What about the ground? Slight tremors, but I figured they were- Where are Captain Moonfollow and Lieutenant Star? Over by the- A sharp piercing scream breaks the moment of dread in my heart. Too slow, too late. Captain Moonfollow! Stay here! I can help! Trust me, stay here! I can help, let's fucking go! Fuck this, we're going in! We're doing this right now. I'm pumped up. We need to help them now. Let's go. Stay put. No, I am in charge of this operation. I'm helping. Looks like Commander Rasuna is gonna add insubordination to my charges. Oh shit. Before I have a chance to understand what she meant by that, Zuri swings her tail and something flying off my feet into the sand. How dare she? I try to scramble on my feet to grab her, but she's already on the move towards the source of the screaming. Like a speeding bullet, Zuri is skimming over the sand dunes. Her speed is something I can never match. Her boots look like look like they aren't even touching the ground. Wait, they aren't. In a heartbeat, I understand why she was the only one who could do this. Whatever is under those shifting sands would have me dead out of fight. Why didn't I think about that? Why am I not reacting fast enough? Why am I not understanding enough? Because whoever is playing you is a goddamn fool. <laughs> I want to blame this heat, but I know the real answer is my head. But if I can't help, what use am I here? No, I refuse to think like that. There has to be something I can do. I ink my radio out of my pack. So come in. What? Tired of chasing after nothing? It's going to pain me to say this, but I'm not nearly as bad but not nearly as badly if Fay or Kika die because of my lack of judgment. You were right, we have a bigger issue to worry about. There's something moving other sand, I think it attacked Moonfollow and Star. Roger, I'm taking I'm running the takeoff checklist right now. Where are they? Zuri took off to save them. Then gods be to her. Get on board. Not until they are here. I'm not having this fight. Get on the shuttle. 
I am not moving until I have my entire team here. Call me stupid, but nobody is getting left behind on my watch. Roger. In the distance, I can see what appears to be a wild storm of sand blowing towards me. At the head of it is a desperate Zuri with Fankika under her arms. We need to go! Those things chug along at super fast speed! Kika? Faye? What are those things? Faye's eyes are closed. The torso of her uniform is stained with the dark red fluid of her blood. Numerous cuts and foul marks decorate her. We need to get her to Dr. Nelson now. Soul, we need to go now. I may have killed her. My xenobologist and roommate might have just paid the price for not keeping my head in the game. For me, not Kika, get the doctor now! Soul? Soul, I need you! Just like that, he's gone. He abandoned me when I needed him to help me get through this. Suri has been doing her best to give Faye aid with our emergency kits, but the blood... More than once, I almost lost my lunch. I had to hide away in the cockpit with a silent soul. Kika, I need to put pressure on the wound. Kika? She's going to die if you don't help. Right, I, I can do this. That's right, we need you. We need a hero navigator star. She's my minion. I expect this to me. Right here? Right there. Fuck, everyone showed up. Major Pusel! Tell me when you run off like that, soul. Kika was in focus, we didn't have any time to waste. Just like now. Time to prove your worth, Colonel. Well, um, you see... You keep telling me that you have to keep- that we have to keep you around for situations like this. Situation happened. Do something. Have you stabilized the bleeding? I'm trying, but those things must have been some sort of venom in their claws. I'm having a hard time. Well, alas, our anti-venom supply is drastically small. There's little I can do to aid her. But what about that box? I mean, never mind. What box? Perhaps our lovely quartermaster is my most recent shipment of medicines. Perhaps she is right in there, maybe just gonna have for our dear little friend. There better be. I want a full report on what was contained in that box. That you, th that you think you love me at a time like now. No matter. Come, let us take her to my lab. Major Pusel, I want a full report. Commander, there isn't a whole lot of time. We need to send the ship in pursuit of the shuttle whose route we tracked earlier. Then have Major Tenzin take care of it, and I'll waive the safety regulations about being strapped in. I want to know what happened down there. Down there. Kika, I need you to tell Al the coordinates to follow. Are you sure you can handle that? Of course I can! Leave everything to me! Report to the bridge as soon as you are done. I want your story as well. Bridge. Now. How am I going to explain this? What the fuck is Dr. fucking Nelson and... Goddamn Kylie hiding? What the fuck is going on on this ship? I don't know what's going on on this ship. God damn it. Damn it. That recording was- <laughs> That recording was the only thing you found down there? Yes, ma'am. I did a thorough sweep of the site and did not find anything else of value. Just like the previous site, everything had been stripped of information. Two hours at the ground site and that was all you were able to discern? Yes, ma'am. I've heard tales about how SITOs were masters at discovering even the most hidden truth. This performance is not living up to those standards. Yes, ma'am. Did you take photographs of either ground site for later study? <laughs> Fuck no. 
Of course not. Major Pusel, did you ensure that your security officer had performed her checks to ensure safety of my crew? Oh, now she's my security officer. I did. We ensure that all protective measures were taken. So you let Captain Moon follow out of your line of vision? She was within shouting distance and had Lieutenant Star with her. How could I have foreseen this? I am messaging through Steam. Very unprofessional. seen this. Correct. You all made the right choice at the start. When you heard from the recording that their team had been attacked, did you deem it important to notify them? That is my fault, ma'am. Soul? I was agitated with Major Pusel and started a fight with her. She was going to notify Captain Moonfollow, but I pulled her away from it. The error in judgment resides with me. Don't let him lie to you. I was the one who cared more about finding more clues. They're both wrong, Commander. I just watched them fight instead of doing anything to break it up. You all screwed up equally. As the ranking officer in charge of this operation, I bear all responsibility for what happened out there. Major, you will learn at time. Uh, you will learn as you command that there are times when you could have prevented a catastrophe. Hindsight will always be perfect. You screwed up today in a way that could have been prevented. You let emotions drive you and let your guard down. Captain Moonfollow had to pay that for that mistake. The mistakes happen. Learn from them. Tell me, what happened to Captain Moonfollow? I can explain that. By all means. Faye was investigating some wildfire and she had noticed in the fringes of the camp. The pup thought it was pretty really strange because it was only flora she had found. What were you doing? Thinking. So, both of your guards were down and you were outside the vision range of Lieutenant Zuri. But I'm sorry! I thought everything was safe! Bearing. If my bearing is the rock hard right now, I'm a little shook up. One minute they were standing up to the surface, the next there's these, these, these things leaping out of the sand. They were like large fish with stingers grafted into the scales. These long, curved, ghastly things that reminded me of the night sky. They were on top of the Faye before I could do anything. I tried. I tried to beat them off Faye, but they just swarmed out over us. I beat them. I beat. I hit them, but they just kept coming. He meant something, right? Sure, I've been critically injured, but I saved your life. We will see in time. Lieutenant Zuri, does that match your impression of them? Swarm was the best way to describe them. I think the campsite was on top of their nest. Could they have been used as a defense from intruders set up the researchers? I don't think so. I think they were meant to protect whatever the researchers uncovered. Like the thunderstorm. Could these have been defenses against intruders? The idea is bleak, but strangely reassuring. There should have been tougher defense if this device was truly dangerous. The calm in Rasuna's face tells me that she came to the same conclusion. Are either of you injured? Like they could hurt me. A couple of scratches, nothing serious. The singers didn't get me, so no poison to worry about. All of you, except Lieutenant Zuri, return to duty. We will need all hands to prepare for whatever awaits us at the destination. Where is it, ma'am? Deep space. No known worlds out there. We are jumping into the depths of darkness. Our supplies are limited, so I'm ordering us to move to Rat 2. Blech. I've survived on Ration Level 2 before. But I don't like it. Smaller portions, nothing wasted. 
You messed up but completed the objective. We can do better next time. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. Come on, Zuri. Let's stop by my lab before I walk you back to your room. I want to take a look at your wounds. Not going to experiment on me, are you? Perhaps. There might be information on where those things came from if they were a genetic weapon. I was kidding. That's why you don't joke about those sort of things around Natalie. I'll remember that. Sure you will. Let's get back to the bridge, Star. Wingy will want to hear all about how you beat back a swarm of mutant fish. Fine. Have fun playing doctor. Let's go, Zuri. Here you are. Going to take a nap? Not until I've had a look at your wounds. Nat the mad scientist. Here I am, trying to make sure you are happy and healthy, and you are trying to escape from it. What if those wounds contain poison? I don't know, take me to Stan? I'm starting to suspect that our good doctor might be trying to pocket medical supplies on the side. I'd rather be the one to inspect your wounds. Me too. He's very nice to me, but he always asks the strangest questions. What sort of questions? I don't know. He doesn't ask them of me anymore. After a month or so, he just stopped caring about me or my existence. That's probably for the best. Where were you cut? My hand. Don't worry, I'm fine. Stop glaring at me, please. Hand out. No. <laughs> Don't make me get a sedative from the doctor. I'm not letting you get away without an ins inspection. If you insist. I am. You saved Kika and Faye today. A legendary warrior like yourself deserves the best treatment possible. I did. I saved them. Were you impressed? Very. You're not mad about me having to hit you with my tail, right? I tried to be very careful. Normally, people slap the other person when they are being illog when they aren't being logical. Your tail had a lot more force. Sorry, don't apologize. If I would have went with you, those things would have torn me apart. You saved my life today. Almost broke my arm in the process, but you did. While she's distracted with thoughts of being a valiant warrior, I take her coarse hand into mine. Despite her protests earlier, I can see that her hand was sliced up pretty bad. I can see a trace amount of liquor other than blood on her hand. Liquor? Liquid. Ha! <laughs> Different things. With a small vial and rubber gloves, I gather up as much of the liquid-infused blood as I can. I don't remember reading much about many animals that can leave notable amounts of venom in their victims. What is it? I'm not quite sure. I want to have it analyzed, though. You don't appear to be showing any signs of contamination. But tell me immediately if you start feeling funny. Knock knock! Not that kind of funny. On closer inspection, I can see if the slice was the right word for it. The cuts are deep, are clean and deep. How Zuri managed to go without wincing as I clean up the wounds is remarkable. But why would a wild beast why would a wild beast be able to claw up someone in such a perfectly straight and precise manner? This is almost peculiar. And the claw marks on the site were very wild and jagged, not clean at all, which means it was something else there. Go test it. Hmm? I can see it in your eyes. You really want to go test it. Not until I finish bandaging up your hand. You, need, you don't need to focus on... I don't know what I need right now. Just let me help. There. See? 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 All better. Come on. I want to know what is bugging you. I want to know why you aren't moaning and groaning. Those are some deep cuts. These little scratches? They're nothing. I've gotten roughed up a lot worse. I guess all the physical training has its perks. I walk over to my identifier and pour the liquid into the mixer. 
since we are in shift, heading for the for those reaches of space, I'm not going to be able to use the database. I'm gonna have to hope this is a common toxin. Yeah, that will happen. The mutant creature on some far off world isn't going to be. What's that light? It's done. I pull up the readout, expecting to see an error. No, it's a result. Try... Texa! Oh, fuck me, what? Okay. Quadratexidin. It's a toxin designed by the Ralton Empire. It's lethal to Lupin and Kitsune and nearly 65% of the direct co contact cause causes. What? Whatever. I don't care. Most symptoms include muscle paralysis, short-term memory loss, and, depending on the dose, rapid death. It works on a cellular level by preventing the exchange of oxygen and CO2. Against non-Lupin and non-Kitsune, it had very little effect. Most people don't show any effects that, even after direct exposure are in considerable quantities. That seems like a strange thing for a mutant desert fish to extract. Perhaps not. Those cuts, they're too clean. Too clean to be natural. Computer, how many matches do I have for Ralton genetic weapons that match Lieutenant Zuri's descriptions? Checking with the database of known Ralton genetic weapons. Description matches three potential candidates. I'm changing the voice of the computer, because I want to. The Empire did this? Why would they attack scientists? They wanted a weapon for themselves, obviously. Still, something here doesn't make sense. Why would you attack the scientists with such strange weapons if you already knew the location? One of the most important rules of warfare is to know your opponent. Whoever they wanted to kill was a Lupin or a Kutsune. Maybe they're after Kika because she's the fucking sole heir to the... Whatever estate she has, the Star Estate. I don't know what they do, but... Maybe they were thinking about this the wrong way. Nothing in the researcher's audio log suggested that the creatures who attacked them were fish-like. Pretty intense. Alrighty, I've been running this a little long. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna end this chapter here. I'm okay. Sorry it's such an awkward cutoff, but I have been running this a little long. And then chapter here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Bye, friends.